What is up my friends and welcome back to yet again another cold front video and today we are playing some more Skyrim LTR edition and guys I really appreciate all the support I've gotten I know I keep saying this but seriously thank you for all the support cross my channel not just the Lord of the Rings uh, uh, Skyrim thing that I know it's been a month since the first episode I hadn't gotten a second episode out but I'm trying to bang out two episodes right now for you guys and yeah, basically without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this, but I really can't wait to show up all the amazing LTR mods and things I've in place in this game. So let's go ahead and head on down into the deeper tunnels of Bleak Falls Barrow, where the leader of the Rohirrim in Skyrim believes there to be a um, uh, some evidence or something to do with the return of the dragons of the first stage. Let's get on through here. Check out this chest. What we got here, buddy? Ooh, iron shield. I do like it, but it doesn't quite fit with my character. And I'm already um, almost over encumbered with what I've got so far. So there should be a dude right there. Got he. Got he. Nice. We're going to go ahead and head on down. We are almost done with Bleak Falls Barrow. This is the second half. The. Uh, because because of how uh, old this place is and you know all the stuff is broken down all the tunnels all everywhere uh, we do have to go through this little backwards sneaky place and that is what we are doing so these we're getting close to the main halls here's another chest we have to kind of sneak into yep. and bingo bongo let's see what we got in here Ooh, what this has got to be a glitch what how are there 6,050 arrows in here? Seriously, how? That is absolutely incredible, guy. <laughs> I, I promise you, I promise you, I did not put this in here. I did not go god mode or cheat or anything to put this in here. I swear to god. How? I've never seen so many goddamn arrows in one place. And for 6,000 arrows, probably enough to fuel an entire regiment and a huge army of like. How is it only worth two gold? <laughs> wow, 6,050 arrows. I don't feel like I should take it. Oh, well, I'll take it. That is incredible. I've never seen so many arrows in my life. That is so crazy. Um, I don't know what messed with that. What uh, immersive whatever mod I have messed with that. But we'll have to figure out. Because I can't have 6,000 steel arrows just popping up for me every time I walk through a cave. That would be just way OP. Alright guys, after some contemplation, I decided probably not to take 6,000 steel arrows. I don't know what messed with that or why there were 6,000 arrows in there. What, what crazy glitch made that happen. But I'm not going to exploit it. I'm going to leave me 760 arrows, which is still a crazy amount. You know, I don't think, I think I'll be alright for a very long time with that, but... Excuse me. Regardless, I uh, definitely can't have the 6,000 arrows. That just, that just doesn't seem immersive at all. How can I have 6,000 arrows on a dude's back? <laughs> Alright, guys. Continuing on into the cave. Let's get this done with. We're almost through here. Let's see. Alright. Oh, there he is. Does he already see me? Am I already seen? No. No arrows equipped. What the hell? Did I unequip the arrows? Yeah, I did. Where'd he go? Oh, he turned around. Where is he going? Here he comes. And... Shabow. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. There you go. Give me all that sneak increase. I should be hidden. Alright. Moving back in. I wish I, I wish it was like this when it first came out. Then again, that's asking too much. Skyrim was already, like, amazing for its time. This is like godlike. So I'm getting too picky now. Can just every game when it first comes out be godlike? That's pretty much what I just asked. I'm such a spoiled little brat. Where did this guy go? Oh, there he's down there. Mm. 
There you go. I've never done a sneak and shoot sort of character before. So it's pretty interesting doing it right now. Let's see. Apprentice. We can do Apprentice. Hey, apprentice, no problem. Oh, there it is. And bingo. What we got in here, man? And with this, steel sword and gold. Always good, man. Always take gold. It's good for you. Good for the heart. How much encumbrance do we have left? Not a lot at all. Like, we got like 14 encumbrance left. That is not good. Bleak Falls Sanctum. We are getting to the end of this. These are the inner halls. We are in the Sanctum. Sanctorum. I don't know. I'm joking around. Alright. Continuing on our wacky ass journey. Heading further down here. I can't wait to actually like, get out of here. I want to actually like, travel around, show you guys some of the uh, different things and the modded world of this. But I must be patient. I must be. Oh, that's one of these things again. Uh oh, uh oh. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Ooh, baby. Can't touch this. Can't see this. Ooh! Up your ass! There you go, baby. Silence is key. That's how we do it here on the cold front. Let's see anything to loot? I think that's all for this area. That's all there is. Thirteen? No, that's not better than mine. There you go. All right, moving up, moving up in the world, guys. Making progress in my life, killing some dudes, and not being found out. That's how we do it. Let's just light this, just cause it's fun. And I got 760 arrows. That beautiful. That is really beautiful. Just get it, get it quick, uh, like. Oh damn. Oh, whatever. I was gonna do a little screenshot or whatever, but it's fine. I don't need to do it. What just happened? How did it land all the way over there? If I shot it, maybe maybe the way the directory in which I shot. The Shot the uh, the pot. It went flying in a different direction than straight down. I thought it would just drop straight down. Thought that's like the only mechanic it really had. All right, and we are in the ancient Nordic tomb thing. These Nordic men are quite like the Numenorians. Build extravagant tombs for themselves. In fact, come too obsessive with death, and thus it is their downfall. All right, let us now go and. No, 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 no. Short elven sword, baby. Ooh, steel war pickaxe. Forest one sword. These things do better. Hmm. Hmm. I still like it because it's still sexy. Whatever. Let's see here. There it is. Golden claw. Let's look at this thing. Uh, let's see, it's Bear, Butterfly, Owl. That's not a bear, is it? Bear, Butterfly, and then Owl. Then activate the keyhole. There we go, baby. There you go. That's how you do it. Alright, moving on. Alright, let's go ahead and take off this torch and re equip my bow. Because now we are actually into some dangerous stuff. Ooh. Actually, huh. Forgot about that. That was kind of actually kind of actually kind of scared me a little bit with those bats came flying down because I forgot about them. Oh. 
That's funny. Alright. No threats so far. There's some weird magic coming from this stone over here. Power learned what? Ooh. 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 No bueno. No bueno. You don't see me, you bitch. Ow. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Quietly hide from the dude. There you go. Now we're back to knowing what we're supposed to do. Where is he gonna go if I just. I wonder if he would lay back down in the tomb. Just be like, alright. Enough of that shit. Ooh, I hit him on the move. Alright, you guys have to admit, that was a good shot. That was a good shot, guys. Alright, now let's 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 take this dude head on. Ellen short sword. And dented iron shield. Here we go. Ah! Ooh, baby! That's how we do it. Now <laughs> that was such a weak war cry. I was like, uh <laughs> Imagine this big ass Draugr. No, it's like this little weak little ranger comes from the corner with a little, uh, like a little tiny little uh, elven uh, short sword, like sting or whatever. Like, uh <laughs> That sound like Mary Pippin or something like that. <laughs> Um, Dragonstone. We need that. Steel arrows. Not like we already have enough. Okay, we are over encumbered, but tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to drop some stuff that I really don't need. That, that, uh, that battle axe I'm not going to use, obviously, but it is. has some uh, value to it. Therefore, there you go. And we're a okay. We may have to drop some more stuff again up here when we loot this chest. So I guess the question comes into it now, how am I going to work um, being the Dragonborn with the whole uh, Ranger and Lord of the Rings story? And to be honest with you, I do not know. I have no bloody clue. Ooh, 24. What does mine do? What does mine do? Work his shield. That's 33, but I'm not going to use it, obviously. 17. I'm definitely going to drop this sucker. Drop you. And take you. Yes, sir. Take that. I'm in a minor archery. I guess I'll take it just to get the, um, just to, that's a 34. How much does my uh, steel plate armor do? 34. Okay, it's the same thing. I don't need it. Actually, uh, I could sell it though. It could be worth some money. Let's see here. What could I sell that could drop my price a little bit? What do I not need here? How much? I need? Oh, I need to drop a lot. I need to drop a lot of weight. No, I'm just gonna give up one of these. I just don't need it. All right, and that was Bleak Falls Barrows, guys. So we're gonna get out of here. We are out of here. Let's go ahead and equip our. Oh, we also need to quickly, just real quick, re-equip the. There we go. Now re-equip torch. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here, son. Uh, it sucks that this this uh, this tuning gum um, cuts off the elvish blades. You can't really see it sheathed. It's under my tunic. Actually, speaking of that, I remember before I had stopped the last recording for the last episode. I remember I picked up in like a uh, a type of like leather armor almost. I'm pretty sure back there from one of the bandits. Here it is. Yes, I thought this would go well. Like it would still work well with my like whole ranger thing without like extending too far you know what i mean so let me try it real quick because this 31 i still think it looks all right it does get a little bit clipping with the cape though um, i feel like i'm gonna run into that no matter what uh i'm not sure if that's gonna bug me or not how much it's gonna bug me it's bugging me pretty bad right now i could just play it i mean not all like leather stuff fits on perfectly so like it's just and, like i'm just gonna pretend like it's the straps like it's the straps of the armor or whatever 
coming over the top of the cape. That's fine. It's not going to mess with me that much. If it annoys you guys enough, I'll take it off. But just let me know. And... No, I won't take this off. And out of here. Back to Skyrim. So, already my last video is getting a lot of support. Um, and I really just appreciate all the support. Uh, I've been getting on the series from you guys. It's really awesome. I can't wait till this is like a full-blown Lord of the Rings channel. And, I don't know. Just geeking out. And look at that. You can see the Elven Blade now. Honestly, I, I, I'm going to take this little bit of clipping just so I can see that Elven Blade. Look at that. That is beautiful. There you go. That is just awesome. Can I? There it goes. Uh, let's see. I'm. I won't cut this out. Whatever. All right. All right. And after a little bit of screenshots, we do find a skirmisher's potion right here, and we're gonna go ahead and work our way down the mountain. Ow. And now we're gonna have to find our way back to uh, White Run. And they were here. Him might actually just fast travel, just because we are a little bit away. So we're probably just gonna fast travel. Wow. I mean, this game looks awesome. It's Lord of the Rings, so it's even more awesome. And you guys love it, so that's even more awesome for me. So it's really easy to do something like because you want to do YouTube, right? But you want to play games that make you, like, you love playing these games. So you want to play these games and you want to share them with people. But your YouTube audience doesn't receive it very well. So it kind of sucks. Because, like, should I even waste my time taking all the time to record it and do all the commentary and stuff if people aren't even going to watch it, you know? So I battle with that a lot when it comes to YouTube. Sometimes I just go, you know what, screw it. I want to play it and I'll just air it to YouTube, whatever. And then other times I'll be like, all right. I'll just play it on my own time and do something else. But it's awesome when those two, um, those two things collide. It works uh, very nice. Very cohesive. We're almost level 5. You've got to be joking me. Maybe I should have meleeed him back there. I would have gotten like a one-handed perk or something for battling him. Alright, where is this fool? Oh, let me turn my thing back on. Where is this fool? There he is. See? The terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is yeah, a that's... copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Sorry to interrupt. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Yes, sir. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. We rangers know how to fight a little bit. So what is my reward? Um, so you got the Dragon Stone, now what? Show me what. Show me that these stupid dragons you're talking about. Mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You're welcome. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Yep. Nice work. Okay, girl, you, you have to tell me. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. No way. Let's go. There ain't a chance in hell there's an actual dragon around here. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. 
Irulan. You'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. Mm. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. Yeah, I kind of lied about that. I've forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armor. I should come along. I would very much like Damn it, man. I'm already over encumbered. No. I can't afford both of you. I'm gonna toss some stuff in this chest. Can I can I do that? Cause I'm like crazy over encumbered. What the hell did you just give me? Give me that. Ugh. I need, I need you to sell that. working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Yeah, I definitely need to drop something. I'm gonna leave something in this chest. Just so I can move. And then we gotta get on the move, because apparently there's some dragon and this this Leader of the Rohirrim here in Skyrim wants me to do is actually ordering me to do something. Might as well slap that dude for even assuming the order around a ranger. But he is a lord of the King Theoden. Or that wouldn't be Theoden at this time, would it? Huh? <laughs> Anyways. Damn it, cool front spoilers. It's been awful like years now, guys. Catch up. I'm gonna go ahead and go to daytime. 8 a.m. And then we're going to sell some stuff quickly so I can just get all this crap off me. And then I need to come back here and then get that stuff that's put in that chest back. And then sell that. And then I'll be able to go do that quest thing. i turn that back on now. Oh, shut your mouth. Yeah, definitely gonna go into the straighter here because we are crazy over encumbered. I'm a ranger. I'm not a weightlifter. But apparently there's some some dragon around here, and you know they're gonna kill everybody. So I guess I gotta go do something about it. Honestly, this mission is such a drag. Damn it, Aragon! Why did you send me on this mission? Why you do this? All right, let's go with me. Weapons. What I do not need. Ancient Nordic sword. The war axes. Ooh. Of cold. I'll keep that one just for now. Uh, Elven sword. So we're keeping that obviously. Sell the forsworn. Daggers. Tantos. Spring steel bows. A level up. And the war pick. I've never seen a ranger use a war pick. Get rid of the magenta bandana. Two belted tunics. The crown. I'm keeping the fur hood. I like the fur hood. High braces, iron boots, getting rid of all that, and the orcish boots and gauntlets and stuff. I kind of want to keep that just because it's cool. It's a full set of armor just sitting there, except for the helmet, obviously. And I also want to keep the steel armor, too. But I need places to store this stuff, man. I don't have a house. I don't got any place to store all this crap. Let's see here. Uh, what is this? Miscellaneous. Um, amethyst. Don't need the amethysts. Soul gems. I need the soul gems. Garnets. Don't need that. Iron ingot. Don't need that. Less soul gem. Need that though. All right. Let's see what we're at now. Two thirty-eight out of three fifty. All right. I'm gonna quickly cut to where I go back. I'm gonna cut the part where I go back. Grab that chest plate. Come back here. Sell it. And then we'll uh, we'll cut to when we're moving on to the mission. So I'll see you guys then. We're looking for someone in Wyfrom. We will pay good money for information. Oh, who are you looking a for? Woman, a foreigner in these lands, Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. Mm -hmm. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Wyfrom, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. 
the person you're concerned. looking for. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. Don't sass me, asshole. We'll find her eventually. Well, good luck with that. Be a dick, I ain't gonna give you information. Alright. So we can level up, so let's go ahead and level up. And I did do all the selling stuff I said I did. Went around looking at some shops, too. Didn't find anything interesting, but regardless. Still good stuff. All good stuff. Alright, let's see here. Blocking one-handed archery. So we've only done one-handed archery so far. So... Um, let's look at what other we could do. That's all. Smithing, enchanting, heavy armor block, light, uh, no, 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 sneak. I don't know. None of this is really seeming appealing to me right now. 20% harder to detect when you're sneaking. Damn, I keep forgetting how to... Alright, there it goes. I think we might just, uh, we, we could do, um... Yeah, we can do blocking right now. When it comes to melee, we do need the blocking because we do not have a lot of health. I'm not going to be a heavy. Usually I'm sword and like two-handed sword or sword and shield and like crazy heavy armor. That's the type of dude I usually am in this game. But in this case, we are just going to do more medium light armor and sword and shield. And obviously we're going to be very strong with the bow. So definitely need shields when it comes to close quarter combat. All right, now let's go meet up and take on this supposed dragon. Hasn't been dragon since the first age. I don't believe in that crap. Well, that's a lie. Well, since um, obviously a third age, but you know what I mean, like actual dragons and stuff, not like fire drakes or whatever. I mean, like actual full-blown dragons, like big boys, like Melkor type big boys. Not like smog, small drake, so. You know, you get what I'm saying. So this is, around this area is where they said, wow. Okay, maybe they, what the hell? It sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out and look for some. Spread out and look for survivors. Let me use my my ranger abilities to try and investigate what happened. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Oh. Sorry, mate. Don't believe you, really. Ooh, dead bodies. Let's see. Again, look at that. It's like every time there is a oh, Urukai sword. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Fine. Look at look at that. Every time I find a steel arrows, it's it multiplies it by like three thousand. I don't know what mod's doing it, but it needs to stop it. it. Needs to stop. Store. Oh Jesus. Then store again. Yeah, it should be good. Oh shit. Nope, that looks like a smog. That looks like a smog. That looks like a fire drake. Oh my god, what's a fire drake doing out here? Well, I guess Sarmo was successful in whatever the hell he was doing out here. Jesus. Oh, wrong thing. Come on. Ooh, doing some actually good damage on him. Shoot. Oh, shoot. That was close. Who the hell is he attacking over there? Oh, he's attacking a giant. I don't even think I'm hitting him. Come on. Why am I using iron arrows? Seriously. Mm. 
Come on, come on. Can't get a shot on him. Suck a fat one. There you go. Oh, he might be dead. He may be going down. Oh, he's almost down. Yeah, one more hit. There you go. He's down. Did you thought I heard something? That sucker is down for good. Oh shit! Urukai! Aw, oh, damn it. What the hell are Urukai doing out here? Oh my god, and they are strong. I guess they don't like us destroying their mass creation. Too many Urukai. Too many Urukai. Too many Urukai. These Urukai are like really, really strong. Crap, crap, crap. Almost, almost got one. Almost got one. There we go. There we go. There's one down. These guys are like crazy strong. My god, these guys are strong. My question, what are Urukai doing on these lands? That is crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I know, I know. Um... There you go, there's 40 gold. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. Yep, yep. After you pay the fine, of course. That's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> Skyrim. <laughs> right run. Y'all assholes. Look, man, I was just trying to help you kill this Urukai. I already killed two of them for you. And that you're, you're taking me to jail. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic, but we are back now to the scene, and here is the dragon. Let me search this dude. Ooh, dragon bone and dragon scales. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, an orcish greatsword. I may go over and come if I take it. No, I'm good. And then a bunch of uh, white run uh, armor. I don't need. Don't want it. Where is what's her face? Oh, it's this dude. I see. Take this dude. Ooh, baby. These dragons definitely do have some weird stuff going on. I don't know what Sauron was doing over here, but. That crap is crazy. Uh, report back to the Jarl. Alright, we're going back to the Jarl now, guys. So that killing that thing was like bonkers crazy. And I guess I believe now that there's dragons in these parts. I guess that also confirms Sauron's doings. Or Sauron's doings over here. But I think the... I don't know. One dragon. Alright. A dragon's pretty big. That's a pretty big thing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna even cite that. That's a pretty big thing. But, man, the fact that Urukai were walking freely through white run lands is a little more scary than me, honestly. That's showing that a little bit of advances on the Stormcloak side and. Uh, okay. I'm officially done with Skyrim. Goodbye. Peace out, guys. Going back to Ariador. I'm out of here. Back to the Shire where I like it. <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, yeah, definitely no bueno. Dragons, but that also scares me that Urukai running freely through these lands. It shows that the advances of the uh, Saruman's forces still in this land are very strong, and maybe Aragorn's troops aren't doing enough. So currently, I can give you a perspective. Most of the south of uh, Skyrim is completely taken over. So Donsar, uh, Winterhold, Windhelm, and uh, Riften—they're all—they're all taken. And we are right on the border. And there's and the fact that we have men running through the lands over here, past the actual, you know, 
hold is actually kind of scary. Not enjoyable that uh, we're getting raided so far. I mean, it's hard for them to make advances to the mountains here because, well, it's the mountains. But uh, this is the this is the gap right here, the gap of uh, White Run, <laughs> gap of Rohan, gap of White Run. But seriously, what it is? Because look, mountains on each side, but this is the gap right here, and they're definitely surging through that gap. So that's not good that they're making that big of an advance. And might show some weakness on the side of the Gondorian forces. So look, I came here. They said there were dragons here. I killed a dragon. Crazy, all right, confirms, but the dragon's dead. No more dragons. We're good. Took care of the dragon problem. That says a okay to me, right? Good. You're finally here. What's up, Yarl? So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? Oh, I think a dragon was there. Uh, we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Why does it have to do this? Why do I have to say this stuff? Come on, man. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Greybeards? The masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. Mm -hmm. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thume or shop. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You maybe maybe he's talking about the Blue Wizards. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragon boy. <laughs> Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Wow. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. Oh. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Oh. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. And now I'm over encumbered again. Yay! That's what I like. How much? Four. Over encumbered by four. Oh, what even is four weight? Let's drop. That's point five. Wait. One. There you go. Learn these things and it should drop me. There you go. Woo! Just enough. And we out of here. The ah. Carl has appointed me to Son be your house, Carl. 
It's an honor to serve you. Um, what is this the thing you're talking has about? Recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold, a hero. The title of Thane is an honor, a gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Hmm. What does a house car will do? As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. Ooh. I'll guard you and all you own. Oh yeah. Life. Oh you will. Girl, I'll put you to work. <laughs> okay, cool. I, I'm not interested in the follow though. Thank you, Lydia. I appreciate that and what the Rohirrim here have done for me. But look, I took care of the dragons. I'm a okay. What I'm more scared about is the advance of Oli Zirukai. I think I'm gonna quickly head to um the generals of the Imperial armies that uh, inhabit this place and the Gondorian troops that are here, which is the war, well, like the war generals, the guys who are leading the war right now. And that is all being cool. taken out of the main Gondorian um, place here in Skyrim called Solitude. So I'm now, I'm, my now my next quest is to head to Solitude to try and help with this war. Cause that's that's worrying me. But look, these weird Nordic people. From the Orkani, so they have some tradition. It might have something to do with the blue wizards. Honestly, those guys have been gone for so long. I don't even care what those guys are up to anymore. We haven't used them. We don't need them. And honestly, I'm not too interested in it. I may come back and investigate whatever they're talking about later. It sounds interesting. But right now, I have more pressing things. Um, I'll have to get word back to Aragorn that I have come in contact with the dragon that has been slain. And there's no more threats up, uh, right now to that. And the investigation seem to have come to a halt and that my interests have now switched to the war and that is where we are at so guys thank you let me thank you guys so much oh, son of a there thank you guys so much for enjoying the series i really appreciate all the support i've gotten on the series really awesome and basically just stay tuned in the next episode we're gonna head to a big um um gondorian city almost looks like Minas Tirith, and uh it's gonna be awesome it's going to be really awesome. So without further ado, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I really hope you enjoyed this episode. We he took down a dragon. We took down a, a barrow white pretty much in the, in the Bleak Falls Barrow. And we killed an um, orc raiding party or orc scouting party. Good God, I think hopefully that was an orc raiding party. I hate to look like... If that was scouting, I'd hate to know what a raiding party looks like. Those guys are strong as hell. Um, basically, again, appreciate all the support. And have a great day, guys. Stay tuned to the next episode. And... Go watch another one.